Hey there, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at trick shots this week, kind of a fun week here at DTL. Today we're gonna look at the underhand serve. It's a little bit of a topic right now, simply because we kind of just got through the clay court season and there were some return of serve positions that were so deep behind the baseline that you saw some players throwing in the underhand serve once in a while. Okay, Kyrgios, I think we're seeing it a bunch with him. Take that with a grain of salt. I think sometimes he's just flashy like that. But I really do think there is some value in the idea of this underhand serve, especially because of how big a lot of you are hitting your first serves now. All right, imagine going through the first couple service games, popping a few serves over 100 miles per hour. It would be pretty natural that your, your returner would back up pretty good back there. And so the idea with the underhand serve is, you know, don't throw it in a bunch, but if the guy is so far away and you've got a little bit of this disguise going on, you're already in a continental grip, the front part of the court becomes available. And the fact that this underhand serve is definitely gonna have some cut spin on it is gonna make it tough for a guy that's really deep behind the baseline to maybe get to the ball, but definitely to, to at least not hit an effective return. Okay, so the first, I've, I've kind of got two variations on this today. The first is kind of the standard uh, underhand serve. It's going to have some cut spin. So what, what I mean by that is the racket's coming from outside back inside. If you notice my stance, I'm a little more open when I do this, and I cut the inside part of the ball, and it's going to curve it from left to right. Okay, and again, I'm preying on the idea that Mark's really deep back there, so I start to go into my motion here and cut across that ball. And you can see Mark's, Mark's in a pretty tough spot there. Now, I get a little greedy when I do this. And let's be honest, if you're at the club throwing this in all too often, we consider that kind of a baseball term. It's kind of bush league. It's looked down upon, it's frowned upon. But if you have a frenemy out there at the club, you guys keep a competitive banter. There's no hard feelings after a match. This is a great one to throw in once in a while where you really try to cut the inside part of the ball. Nasty sliding spin, it hits the tee and all of a sudden it's, you know, it's got the guy moving. Again, just kind of a fun shot. Use it sparingly. I do have a little variation on that. This one could be used even if the guy is not returning from super deep. This would be more of a disguise in terms of making it look like I'm going to go into my real motion. So let's take a look at my real motion for that matter. I bounced the ball a couple times and my arm is back. So if you're a player that puts your arm in this position, which a lot of us do, what does the racket do? It comes forward here and my hands get set. Then I go into my motion. So check this out. Once I've bounced the ball a few times and I start to come into this spot where the returner normally thinks I'm just setting my hands together, Bang, there's some disguise where he's just, he thinks he's got another whole second of time to watch me go into my motion, but instead I just deliver the racket on the ball. Not using really any spin there, just kind of bumping the ball over. It's more of a timing disguise than a spatial and spin disguise. So two ideas there, I think we're seeing this on the Pro Tour once in a while. I thought it was a talking point. Hope that was super fun for you guys. Try that cut underhand serve. Try the little bump forward. See if you can catch them off guard as you're collecting your motion. See if once in a while it works out. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it, okay? And that's all I got for you today. Hope that was super fun. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to a couple courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lesson.